CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 191 through 195 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 191. A development team is preparing to launch a new public-facing web application. The security team wants to ensure that the application is resilient against inputs that may crash the system or reveal unexpected behavior. Which of the following is the best technique to identify such issues before release? The answer is C. Fuzzing. Fuzzing is a dynamic application testing technique that sends malformed, unexpected, or random input to a system to uncover bugs or vulnerabilities. It is designed to reveal issues such as crashes, memory corruption, or unpredictable behavior that attackers could exploit. Fuzzing tools can rapidly generate and test thousands of input variations, providing fast and broad coverage that helps detect edge cases often missed in manual testing. Question 192. A security analyst discovers that an attacker was able to gain access to multiple systems by capturing and reusing NTLM digests from a compromised host. The attacker did not need to crack any passwords to authenticate. Which of the following best describes the attack type used? The answer is C. Pass the hash attack. A pass-to-hash attack involves stealing the hash credentials from a compromised system and using them to authenticate to other systems without needing to decrypt or crack the password. In this scenario, NTLM, or NTLM Manager, is an older Microsoft authentication protocol that relies on hash-based credentials. Attackers can use tools like Mimicast to extract these hashes from memory and replay them to gain unauthorized access across the network. Question 193. Which of the following is best known for publishing a list of the top 10 most critical web application security risks and offering best practices for secure software development? The answer is A. OWASP. The Open Worldwide Application Security Project, or OWASP for short, is a nonprofit foundation focused on improving software security. It is best known for maintaining the OWASP Top 10, a widely respected list of the most critical web application security risks. This list helps developers and security teams understand and address common vulnerabilities. OWASP also provides tools, documentation, and community resources to support secure development practices across the software lifecycle. Question 194. A penetration tester is tasked with identifying all live devices within a company's public IP range without directly interacting with the devices. The tester performs who is lookups, reviews DNS records, and maps the address space to determine which IPs are active. Which of the following techniques is the tester using? The answer is D. Footprinting. Footprinting is a passive reconnaissance technique used to gather information about a target system or network without directly interacting with it. In this case, the tester is reviewing DNS records, performing who is lookups, and mapping the address space, all of which are examples of network footprinting. These actions help identify live systems, domain ownership, and other publicly available data that can later be used in more active testing phases. It is a critical first step in understanding the scope and exposure of a target. Question 195. After identifying live devices on the network, a security analyst uses tools to determine the specific operating systems and open services running on each system. This information will be used to match known vulnerabilities with each system. Which of the following best describes this activity? The answer is B. Fingerprinting. Fingerprinting is the process of actively gathering information about a target system's operating system, open ports, and running services. 
It typically follows initial discovery steps like network footprinting and helps security professionals map specific vulnerabilities to known system details. This technique is commonly used during penetration testing to prepare for targeted exploitation. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.